Welcome to Stick Shift Hot Wheels. My name is Alex, and this is a review series of the 1997 first editions. These are my childhood cars. There were 12 first editions from 1997, and each of them has their own video. Take a trip down memory lane and watch the other videos in this series. Car number four is Salt Flat Racer. It was produced until 2008 and was designed by Greg Paddington. The car features a silver metal painted base and a red plastic body. It features a chrome plastic engine, chrome roll hoop, and interior. Various racing tampos can be found on the side of the vehicle and they are from real manufacturers which is awesome. They include Edelbrock, Simpson, Murak, Hearse, and it also says salt flat at the bottom and there's also two black tampos underneath the Murak that I cannot read unfortunately. The Salt Flat Racer has a very interesting design. It's asymmetrical, which there are not very many Hot Wheels that are different on either sides. So this car has two exhaust pipes on the driver's side, and it has four open exhaust headers on the passenger side, even though this is just a one passenger vehicle. So the car looks dramatically different on either side, and when you're looking at the car straight on, you can definitely tell that it's not symmetrical on either side, which is kind of cool. And, you know, this is a car that you definitely need to have out of the package to really appreciate that fact and to really get the design language of this vehicle. The Salt Flat Racer is highly detailed. There's details everywhere. There's even small louvers on the rear of the vehicle in the red plastic body. They're very, very small, but they're there. You can even see details of the engine block underneath the exhaust header, which is very impressive for such a small 1 64th scale model. The silver painted metal base really looks good under the light. It really sparkles and shines and has some nice metallic flake to it. It looks a lot better than just a bare metal base that some of the older Hot Wheels cars have. I'm surprised that more of the Hot Wheels cars that have metal bases aren't painted metallic silver because it looks really, really good. Because the body is red plastic, you can see some of the injection molding lines around the top of the rear fenders, which is kind of unfortunate. I would love to see this car as a premium model today with the body being metal as well. I think it would really give the car a completely different look. Unfortunately, my original example from 1997 is starting to show its wear. It has some rusty axles from being in a flood and the chrome on the headers and exhaust is starting to come off so you can see the whitish plastic underneath the chrome. But, you know, that's just a little bit of patina, so uh, the car is just showing its age. Thank you for watching my video series of the Hot Wheels 1997 First Editions Salt Flat Racer. If you liked this video, you may also like to watch my other Hot Wheels First Editions videos. Have a great day. Happy peg hunting.